Hey guys, decided to do some more work on the e-bike. Um, one thing that uh, people neglect is uh, being seen better in traffic for safety. Um, I went and picked up a light kit, or a daylight, or a running light kit. usually use them on a car, but uh, we're going to try and use it on the bike. I'm thinking we could probably put it to ring in here. And then we'll just hook it directly to um, the 12 volts of the regulator as soon you turn the bike on, the lights on. And it's all LED, so I'm pretty sure it won't uh, be much of a drain on the batteries. So let's, uh, let's take the front off. And we'll take the front and bring it to the bench and uh, see what we can do. So this is the lighting kit, uh, kit I picked up on Amazon. It's a card here. Sun Pie Club. And it comes with two of these. I think they only light up on one side. And a ballast that comes with it. Plug it in here, and uh, we'll try it on the power supply. We'll find out what side works and what side doesn't. Three, uh, twelve volts. Now, from what I've been reading. Uh, one is red, um, one is yellow and, or orange, and one is uh, white. So there's the white. That's nice and bright. And then there's the orange for turn signals, which we're not going to use that. It's on the other side. Just the white we're going to use. That fix the fan in that. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> that is irritating. So this is supposed to go in like that. Except I would like the um 
I would like the LEDs facing out if I could pull it off. I don't know how. I might have to. Like, it doesn't fold that way. That's stupid. Might actually have to open this thing up and move them. That's the way it's going to go in there. But you want them facing that way. So you can turn it inside out, maybe. Still not that good. Yoohoo! Orange. Yeah. You know what? Let's open one of these things up and see what they look like on the inside. Yeah, it's just being held together by rubber cement on the ends. If you want to make it watertight, which I really don't care. And then you can just basically pull the LED strip right out of it. And then I can put it any way I want. Hey, wow, that's bright. That's nice. Actually looking better without the plastic. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, there's two of them in here. They're back to back, basically. The yellow strip and then the uh, white strip. Hmm, interesting. So we need to put it back together in the way that I want it to go, which would be round side out maybe like that let's see if that's even possible we can get this back together so we want the white round side out Can't go in that way, it's too tight. That's where we can go. Yeah, you can do it. That's brown side out. Unfortunately, it ain't very bright. Hmm. If we lose the orange out of the strand here, it won't be so tight. I'll take a look at that, see if I can desolder it. Well, I desoldered the the orange side. Not bad. It's uh, one resistor per two LEDs, which is pretty good. This is the um, the white side. Really, 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 really th thick LEDs. Pretty bright too. I'm gonna see if I can put it back in the tube. Now, from what I just checked. I'm pretty sure I can't go this way because it's too thick. It won't really show. Well, it might work. Yeah, I don't know about that. going that way but it's gonna be like when we run in here go this way that could work let's go all the way through and see what it looks like I'm surprised we haven't had to fish it through yet give it a minute I'm pretty sure it's gonna tighten up I don't know if this is going to work. Come on. So close to the end and it's going to... More and more friction. It can only bend this thing so much. It's not going to make it. That blows. Alright, let me play with this thing for a bit and, and see if I Okay, I actually cut a little bit off the end. It was a little too sh too long. So it goes end to end now. And it can go other way. This way. It's not too bad. 
But uh, this way it works really good. Like that. It's nice and bright. So let's take this lens apart and drop it in.
Okay, well, I, I find it a little bit long, and I would like to cut it shorter, but uh, I don't know if it's running in series. So if I cut the end off, it, the whole chain won't work. So what I'm going to try and do is with this orange one, I'm going to use it as an experiment. I'm going to try cutting a section of the LEDs off and see what happens. I'd rather do it with this one than that. So I'm going to have to lose about two inches off of the end, so I'd say right about there. Ha! Look at that. So if you cut it in between the, um, you got an LED, a resistor, and an LED, then uh, you're all right. So we can lose that much. Sweet. I guess we're cutting it. So that's about how much I've taken off of it. We can cut them, which is nice. And uh, I think what I'll do is I'll end up just uh, melting a hole right here to run the wire out. And uh, it'll fit in there just nicely. You can see that. Well, here's the finished product. I might have to solder the wires to the regulator. I got them pushing the connector right now, but uh, they keep coming loose. So, yeah, probably won't work. But uh, that's the finished product. That looks pretty good. On a cloudy day, you should be able to see that. At least it uh, you gets you noticed, right? It goes great with my extra bright light. Later, guys.